I can't. I cannot be interviewed. The congresswoman. I don't have the authority to be interviewed. If you're going to post it on YouTube or anything, um, I don't have the authority. And we don't want to get you in okay. trouble. Right. No. But what we so, do want to do is So if you could turn off the cameras, I can sit down with you. Okay. We have some information. You can leave the camera out here. You're all hold for it. Thank you. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Be good to it. Yes. Okay. Come on. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it that she's also trying to work on getting the vagueness of the language changed. Right. Um, and you know, this is obviously all hearsay. Mm. Uh, but, um, it is a language thing, right? that's the thing. It's, it's a big time language, and I expressed the, uh, the fact that if you tell somebody that about the thought crime bill, they know what you're talking about. But if you say the title of the bill, the vital, vi uh, radical violent right, right, violation home violence. Uh, and homegrown terrorism yeah. or HR 1955 people have no idea what you're talking about right. so I mean it's obvious that there's a huge concern about uh, this bill in general right. um, and the pattern of hiding one yeah. approach under the guise of another yeah. you know and I, I mentioned the fact that a lot of our money has come from telecommunications companies and uh, and they're the ones that want to regulate the internet. And uh, her voting record does show net neutrality, but you know, I mean, it just doesn't seem right. You know <coughs> that this kind of has a lot to do with the internet and right. net neutrality. So, you know, what's going on there? So, okay. well, it, it went well. I mean, he he talked to us. He uh, he uh, alleviated some. You know, he made his arguments, and he 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 uh, did okay. Um, he took some of our information. I tried to get him to commit to watching at least the first 15 minutes of 9/11 Mysteries. He wouldn't do. He said yes, but wouldn't do it on a handshake. He said, "I'll start it," and I said, "Well, you can start it and just turn it off." He's like, "Well, he, he may give it 10 minutes. He may not. We'll find out." Yeah, and and he he explained that that the Rand Corporation didn't write the bill. That it was written by the offices of uh, Harmon's office and then Reichert's office, um, but. We pointed out to him that that it's the language is very similar to the Rand Corporation's 2005 study, and that Congresswoman Harmon personally noted to Bruce Hoffman, uh, you know, thank you for your ongoing help around these matters. And he worked, at, he helped, you know, probably pen that that paper, you know, or at least he helped research it. So, and then and then part of the other point that we were wanted, we were making is that beyond the bill itself is the fact that we as a group of people that I love in truth movement have crucial information about how you stop terrorism mm -hmm. if she's serious about it if she's that serious about point. it she um they seem to be well versed on people's issues so it is no secret um they they knew about building seven um they they are familiar with people's issues regarding uh hr 1955 um, it seems as though the outcry has been large and um, and pervasive, and they are concerned about her reputation, and they are sending something to us, which is a letter that was uh, written to the ACLU, um, basically stating, we are sorry we made it so broad. I'm not going to say what it says because I don't know, I haven't read it. But what he is saying it says 
is that the language was very broad. If we had had um, this, uh, this come up, we would, before we introduced the bill, we would have adjusted uh, our apologies, and we're trying to see if, if the Senate will fix it and committee to before it goes on the floor for a vote because they don't want the, the uh, bill completely killed. And then they, he, he, her aid was, he was not, um, he was not aware of architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth as a group. So we gave him one of their cards and um, along with 9-11 Mysteries, Richard Gage's uh, lecture and presentation, PowerPoint presentation, and then also explain, explain to him that, you know, if, if the Congresswoman is serious about stopping terrorism, then we, we have experts from all areas of professional expertise that can help her, you know, help her understand the, the state's uh, role in all of this. She also, he also stated that Jane Harmon had no control over the uh, Wiesenthal presentation in front of Congress, that um, what that if 9/11 um, architects and engineers for 9/11 Truth was jammed in between two jihadi sites, that she um, didn't mm. know and was not in control of um, of how they made their presentation. And and yet, though it, it being done in her presence, she although she didn't have control over the presentations themselves, she endorsed it. She not only yeah, she not only endorsed it, she sort of evoked more stronger language from from uh, the entire panel about how you know these this type of stuff on the internet was radical, you know, making people move towards potential violent radicalization. Did he have anything? Did you say that to him? Mm -hmm. Did yes. he have anything to say to that? Um, I, not that I remember. He sort of, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So and he's taking yeah. in our concerns, whether or not he's going to do anything about it. Um, he was, he was, he was pretty receptive, and he was uh, very willing to en engage, you know, back and forth in dialogue. And you know, he mentioned the fact that that's part of the commissions, the centers of excellence, and the commissions that they, this bill is going to sort of put forth has not only to do with studying sort of terrorism in this country or the potential of domestic terrorists in this country, but of, of, of studying uh, other countries' uh, relationship with that type of um, development. And he mentioned the bombing in London and bombing in Madrid. So I... Uh, so that they would know what yeah. to do here. They also said, and I don't know if this is correct or not, I have to read the bill again, that um, the Centers for Excellence don't have subpoena power. So the whole McCarthyism scare um, may or may not be warranted, um, but I have to review the bill and and, uh, and see what it actually says. Yeah, and, and it, even that. even if the, the the bill itself doesn't uh, legally give these commissions subpoena power, the, it, it, what it, what we both agree on is that it's it's civilly civically eroding further eroding dissent in this country, and you know and. And he, he himself sort of listed a series, he, he understood the idea of pro historical provocations sponsored by the state, the mm -hmm. U.S. Maine, he brought up Tonkin Gulf. Yes. So, so, there, so he's aware of that. And so, you know, I think maybe in some ways it's just a very big leap for people to make to think that, you know, that the 9-11 that the attacks might be the same thing for, for certain people it might be. So I sort of, you know, told him about the exact same things that were going on in London you know, and Peter Powers and the drills. And he didn't know about the, the drills that were going on in New York and that the FAA was, and the, the um, NORAD was dealing with uh, 24 different hijacking scenarios. And so he didn't, he, his little, you know, his little, he didn't like go woo, but his little pupils were dilating when this stuff was going on. So I don't think he, he's delved into the subject as deeply as he could. And perhaps now he will. Yeah, and being that Harmon is, has, a, experience and history in the Intelligence Committee, then she needs to be on the ball about this. Um, so.